What's going on guys, Dylan Rich, the SDR Whisperer here with another video. Today's topic is why you should be building a personal brand. So, do you already have a business? If so, building a personal brand is gonna really help grow that business. It's gonna be an alternative revenue stream and it's gonna ultimately help more people learn about what it is that you're doing and the great product or service that you have. If you don't have a business, starting a personal brand could be a catalyst for building a business, right? Because today's monetization is attention. It's an audience, right? You own the audience. So if you don't have a business and people are just watching you, say you're doing like TikTok dances or you're doing cooking or whatever it is, the more people that are following you and trusting what it is that you do and what you're putting out into the world, the more opportunities you're creating for money right? The more opportunities for business. So if you're a, an influencer chef, right? You cook food and you do like the, the mukbang cutting of the noises and all those things that we see on TikTok, right? You may not be a business person. You may just love cooking, but the more people that watch it and like it and comment on it and the more virality that becomes, the more brands are going to want to pay you to use their food in your videos or use their knives or their cookware in your videos. So you're going to start building to monetize the brand that you're building or you get so big you want to build merch right you you build products to then sell to the eyeballs that you've put into your personal brand so it may be scary it was pretty weird for me to get behind this camera for the first time i didn't think i was that person i didn't think my people my boys from high school would like it or respect it but like at the end of the day you got to do what's best for you you got to make money and you got to do what you love so a personal brand really gives you the opportunity to be your true self getting behind the camera also teaches you a lot about yourself and what you can and cannot do so highly recommend just starting to record things but the biggest things for me in regards to personal branding that has directly impacted my life and my bank account is just putting out the knowledge that i kept private for so long to help more people so i make these videos not because i like hearing myself talk i promise you i don't like looking at myself i don't edit these videos either sometimes i don't even watch these after i record it right now the reason why i record them is because i get positive feedback from people who do watch it saying this has been impactful or your videos have helped me close deals or book more meetings or they've helped me get a job like that's what you're really doing it for right so the people that I help through these fr this free video and this free content ultimately down the road could end up being a paying customer right but I created things and I talk about things to make money so the tips and the tricks that I give you is only a portion of what's in my paid program that I have or the paid service that I provide to business owners. So the personal brand, as it's helpful, it's also there to make money, right? I'm not just doing this for charity. Everyone here has a business or they're looking to make money from personal branding. So biggest things to make sure that you're doing in the personal branding is staying consistent. So if I recorded this video and I just did it one time, cool, hopefully it blows up. If it doesn't blow up, then it was kind of a waste of time, right? So you literally have to be creating content consistently. Put it into your schedule, put it into your week, put it into your month, get good at it, right? Research on YouTube. How to record a video. What camera should I use? What software should I be editing on? How do I do YouTube SEO? Like actually take an interest in the personal brand. Make sure that you're confident in being able to doing it. That's going to allow you to create personal branding content for a long period of time. Also, leverage it. Put it on your website. Talk about things that you can use in your sales process. If you get a client testimonial, record your conversation with how you've helped their business or their brand. Boom content. I'm always thinking in a different way now. So if someone says something cool or I say something great on a Zoom call or someone asks me a question, right? I remember that question. I write it down. So people ask me questions on Twitter or, you know, in a coaching call. I remember those questions. I'm like, you know what? If this person had that question, other people probably had that question. Boom. Immediate content idea. I just answer the question on camera as I would normally. So think of personal branding as just answering questions that you normally would get and putting it out to a larger audience of people so you can help more people resonate with more people build trust with your buyer i have people that have watched all of my content and it took them six to nine months to fill out their form on my website or dm me saying hey man I'm following you for months now like now i'm ready to buy or now i'm ready to talk but if i didn't stay consistent and continue to push content out there i wouldn't have stayed relevant on their top of mind or they wouldn't have the trust to then trust me with solving the problem
problems that they have. So you need to be consistent. You need to post at least once a day on long forms, at least once a week, and just keep doing it. You're not gonna get a lot of views. It's not gonna get all the likes, all the comments that you see. No one's probably gonna watch it in the very beginning, and that's totally okay. You're building a brand, right? Brands just don't pop up out of nowhere. You need to build this authority, build this trust with an audience, as well as keeping on topic. So if I talk about all this random shit, it's not gonna resonate with one specific audience. So the people who are watching this video, I would assume are in sales or in business, in entrepreneurship, and are looking to get better, or they're looking to just learn more about how to build a sales team or get into sales. That's my audience, that's who I talk to. So everything that I push out is relevant to that specific avatar or that customer profile. So find out who you wanna make content to, answer the questions that they continue to ask in the form of a video, post that video consistently, and over time, the more problems that you're solving without even having to talk to them, the more trust they're gonna build in you. People come from my content, it's the easiest sales in the world. They know who I am, they know my face, they know I know what I'm talking about. They've already found some of the things that I've given them relevant, and now in their head, they're like, wow, well, Dylan's pretty consistent. He'd probably be pretty consistent with my business as he's putting out content every single day for a year now. He probably does the same thing for his clients, and everything that he says I trust and it works when I try to implement it. Wonder what he would do if I gave him money. Probably a lot better of a service, right? Like that's the idea that you're trying to create inside of a personal brand. So if you're watching this and you're a little afraid to create content, just do it, right? No one's gonna see it. You're not that special. Your boys aren't gonna create a group chat roasting you outside of it. Oh, look, dude, Dylan just posted this corny ass video on YouTube. Like they don't care that much. You think that they care that much. They truly don't. So just get behind the camera, smile, give your knowledge to the world for free, and you'll be very surprised at what you get back in return.